Working late again I see. Yes. I'm trying to get as much cash together as I can to buy more silver on the next dip. Good idea Gwen. But you might not even get a pullback from here before silver races to the moon. What do you mean? Silver always gets smacked down before it goes higher. That's been true so far. But there may be a time coming where it doesn't pull back at all, but it just goes up day after day for a long time. How high are you talking about? I'm talking about hundreds and even thousands of dollars an ounce. Thousands? You've got to be insane. How could silver possibly go to thousands of dollars an ounce? Actually quite easily. How much silver is mined every year? How do you know? Well, according to the Silver Institute, about 750 million ounces of silver is mined every year. Close enough. And how much of that silver is used for coins and bars? According to the Silver Institute, only 118 million ounces was made into coins and metals. All right then, so we'll double that to include some jewelry demand and use the figure 240 million ounces. What is 240 million ounces of silver worth at today's prices? At $34 an ounce, 240 million ounces is worth about $8 billion. So an entire year's worth of investment silver available is only worth $8 billion. How much did the chair Satan say he was going to spend on QE3? I believe Bernanke said he was going to spend $40 billion per month indefinitely. All right. And if there's 240 million ounces of investment silver available per year, that's 20 million ounces available per month. If Uncle Ben spent that money on silver every month, how much would it be per ounce? Let's see. 40 billion divided by 20 million is $2,000 per ounce. But isn't that a ridiculous number? $40 billion per month is an insane amount of money. Is it? How much does the federal deficit increase every month? Well, the deficit is now running at $1.2 trillion per year, so that's $100 billion per month. So if that money went into silver every month it would cost $5,000 per ounce, wouldn't it? And if the entire debt were backed by silver and gold, what would the price be? Our national debt is at $16 trillion. So half of that is $8 trillion. Correct. So if we assume that there is about 2 billion ounces of silver out there to back it up, what would the price be? $8 trillion divided by 2 billion ounces is $4,000 per ounce. All right. But what if the total amount of outstanding derivatives were backed by silver and gold? That has been estimated to be as high as $1 quadrillion. Half of that is $500 trillion. Correct. And if that 500 trillion were invested in silver what would the price be per ounce? If all of that money went into silver then the price would be $250,000 per ounce. So, you can see that there is a long way for silver to run before it even gets to triple digits much less quadruple or higher. Yes, I see now. Silver is so undervalued at $34 per ounce that it could move much higher without even a pullback. So I'm going to buy more physical silver right now before it goes any higher. Excellent. Goodbye.